Hello friends, let's see the anatomy of the female urethra. This female urethra, it is around 4 cm long and having 6 mm in width. Female urethra begins at this internal urethral orifice which is situated at the neck of the bladder. It runs within the anterior wall of the vagina and reach up to this external urethral orifice which is situated within the vestibule of the vagina just in front of this vaginal opening. So the short course of this female urethra is responsible for the frequent infections of the urinary bladder in case of the female. So the bacteria or the infectious material can travel up to the urinary bladder through this very short female urethra. When we see the shape of the lumen of the female urethra at the site of the internal urethral orifice, it is in the shape of the crescent shape and the convexity is directed anteriorly. In the middle, the lumen of the urethra is in the form of the transverse slit. And at the level of this external urethral orifice, the urethral lumen is in the form of a vertical slit. When we see the glands around the female urethra, there are many urethral glands are present and opening into the whole length of the female urethra. And two, paraurethral glands of skinny, one on each side, just above the membranous urethra, they are present on the each side of the female urethra. And this paraurethral gland of skinny, it is homologous to the prostate of the male. This paraurethral glands of the skinny, they travel down and going to open into the urethra at the external urethral opening. And one additional gland which are going to open into the lumen of the vagina, these are the greater vestibular glands and these greater vestibular glands, they are homologous to the bulbourethral glands of the male. But the important difference between these two are that these bulbourethral glands of the male, they are present within the deep perineal pouch while these greater vestibular glands, they are present within the superficial perineal pouch. When we see the lining epithelium of the female urethra, in the most of the part, this female urethra is going to be lined by the stratified squamous epithelium, except just near to the internal urethral orifice. This portion, it is lined by the transitional epithelium. So this is all about the female urethra. The important clinical point to understand is that the infection of the female urethra is more common than that of the male because of the short course of the female urethra. So bacteria can easily travel to the urinary bladder through this small female urethra. So this is all about the female urethra. Hope you understand well. Thanks for watching.